Today we are making some vegan shawarma, which was one of my favorite things to eat before going vegan, and I'm happy to say that this hits all the notes that I remember. We're going to make some perfectly seasoned vegan chicken and a thick and fluffy garlic sauce, so let's get it going. First, we need to put together our seasoning blend. You can totally get something pre-made like this, but I prefer making it myself. That being said, this does require quite a bit of spices, though they are fairly standard, so hopefully you have all of them. If you leave one or two out, it should still be good, so don't sweat it. To make the blend, let's get one tablespoon each of allspice, garlic granules, and cumin. Next, we're gonna do one teaspoon each of ground cloves and cinnamon. After that, two teaspoons each of ground coriander and dried parsley. Then one teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons each of ground cardamom and smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons kosher salt, and then about one to two teaspoons of fresh ground black pepper. Mix that up and that is your shawarma seasoning and this should be good enough for about two to three batches of the chicken. Speaking of which, let's make that next. And it's worth noting we won't be cooking this on the traditional vertical spit, mostly because like a lot of people, I don't own one. Plus today we are using soy curls, which wouldn't work on a spit anyway. In case you're unfamiliar, soy curls are similar to TVP chunks, which are more widely available in other parts of the world. You could totally use tofu like I did in my vegan gyros video, or even slice up some portobello mushrooms instead. But if you have something like soy curls available, I highly suggest using them. Now let's add an entire bag to a bowl, and then we're going to cover them in four cups of vegan chicken broth to rehydrate them. I like using this stuff, or you can totally use veggie broth as well, but we just need to let these sit and soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once that's done, we can go ahead and drain them and then we're gonna squeeze as much liquid out as we can. And these things are tough, so you really can't squeeze the heck out of them. Next, I like to cook them in a dry pan over medium heat just to dry them out more. I find this step helps them attain a good chew and will help them from becoming mushy or soft. So just cook them for about five to eight minutes or until they start to get some color on them. And then we're gonna remove them from the heat and let them cool. And while they cool, we can put together the shawarma marinade. And for that, we're gonna start off with a third cup of vegan mayo as well as a third cup of olive oil. And since the soy curls have almost no fat in them, these two ingredients will really help out not only with the flavor, but once we cook them, they're gonna get nice and browned as well. But then we're gonna do a quarter cup of lemon juice and one tablespoon of tomato paste, three cloves minced garlic, and then two to three tablespoons of our shawarma blend. Mix that up and that is your marinade. And now that the soy curls have cooled, let's pour that marinade over and with clean hands, toss to combine and coat the soy curls in it. Now here's the cool thing about this recipe. You can either store these in the fridge and let them marinate for a few hours or overnight, or you can totally just cook them right now. That's right, I tried both ways and these really don't need to marinate all that long. And if you're gonna cook all of this in one go, I actually recommend doing it in batches unless you have a huge griddle. In order to get some nice browning on these, we need to make sure we don't crowd the pan, otherwise they're gonna steam. But let them get nice and brown, just cook them over medium high heat for about four minutes and then toss them around and cook for another few minutes. And once the soy curls are looking something like that, they are good to go. However, now we need to go over the supporting acts of the shawarma, which to me are just as important as the chicken. And there's a lot of different regional variations on shawarma. There are so many different veggies and sauces that you can add in, so feel free to tailor it to your choice as you really can't go wrong. In fact, even the bread varies. I've been watching videos by Shelby's of Canada and they use a sage bread. I picked some up at a nearby bakery and it is delicious. You can also use pita bread like this or if all you can find is the smaller pita bread, that will work too. In fact, worst case scenario, you can totally get by with just a tortilla. Tomb or a similar type of garlic sauce is also pretty common. You might be able to find something like this at a store near you or you can make some at home. And since you all love to see fails, here's my first attempt at making the garlic sauce and well, it was a mess and it turned out pretty thin and not as good as it could have been. So I retooled the recipe and redid it. Get about two ounces or 60 grams worth of garlic, which is about one head, and peel and roughly chop it and then add it to a tall glass along with two tablespoons of lemon juice and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm using an immersion blender, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that up into a paste. And then we're gonna add one cup of neutral oil, and we're simply just gonna blend that until it creates a thick and fluffy garlic sauce. You could totally do this with a food processor. You just need to slowly drizzle in the oil as it's blending. But once it's done, it should look something like that. And this stuff is so freaking good. I could eat it with a spoon. If it jiggles like that, you've got a good sauce. Also, if you can stand a spoon up in it, that is a good sign as well. But fair warning, this is quite garlicky. So make sure you love garlic before making it. I'm also gonna whip up a quick tahini sauce using this stuff. They have a recipe on the side of the jar, so I just slap that together, but it's just half a cup of tahini, a quarter cup of lemon juice, two minced garlic cloves, a half cup of water, and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix that up, and that is our quick and easy tahini sauce. 
For the veggies, if you can find some of these pickles, go for it. Otherwise, just use some baby dill pickles and slice them like so. Shelby's also uses some pomegranate molasses. This stuff is super good and kind of sweet and sour. It goes well with all the other elements for sure. I'm also gonna add in some of these pickled turnips. When I used to eat at Zanku Chicken, they would put them on the side, but never inside, so I wanted to try that out. And you could also get some tomato and cucumber, dice them up and add them in some lemon juice, olive oil, fresh parsley, and salt, and whip up a quick little number like this. Or do the same thing with some thinly sliced red onions or shred up some lettuce. Like I said, you really can't go wrong, so just add whatever you think you'll like. So get your warm sage or pita bread, add the garlic sauce as much as you'd like, and then some hummus, and next, I added fries like Shelby does as well. Now we're gonna add our soy curl shawarma, the pickled turnips and pickles, some of that cucumber tomato salad, a little tahini, some pomegranate molasses, and then we're gonna wrap that up the best that we can. And you can wrap it in some paper if you got it. We're gonna slice it in half if you wanna, or just eat the whole thing whole. Give it a bit more tahini if you like and dig in. And I gotta say that this really did take me back. The soy curls are just perfectly seasoned. They've got a bit of crisp on them and some good chew. All the sauces and veggies are just working harmoniously with each other beautifully. It really is a masterpiece of a sandwich, a symphony of flavors, but you can also serve it up as a full meal too. But either way, I really think y'all should try this. If you either miss shawarma or have never had it, then you really need to whip this up ASAP. And if you wanna see the process for making something like this with tofu, check out my vegan gyros video right here. And until then, I'll see you all next time.